The following article appeared in the American Lutheran Survey of February 18th, 1920. And it's a fascinating piece that rather con uh, c um, compares uh, President Lincoln and President Jefferson Davis of the Confederacy. The article reads as follows. The recent encampment of the United Confederate Veterans of Atlanta, Georgia, prompted the Atlantic Constitution to publish a very interesting comparison of the lives of the two war presidents of Civil War days, which we quote as being very appropriate at this season of the year. It's quoting the, that article. Remarkably numerous were the coincidences in the lives of Jefferson Davis, first and only president of the Confederacy, or the Confederate States of America, and Abraham Lincoln, 16th and martyred president of the United States of America. Mr. Davis and Mr. Lincoln were born within uh, a year of each other, 1808 and 1809, the president of the Confederacy being one year older than the president of the Union. They were born in adjoining counties in Kentucky, and both removed from their native state about the same time. While quite young, Mr. Lincoln went from Kentucky to Illinois, while Mr. Davis went to Mississippi. In young manhood, Mr. Lincoln made law um, his profession, while Mr. Davis entered West Point. When the Black War came on in 1832, Mr. Davis was second lieutenant in the regular army, while Mr. Lincoln, as captain, led a company of volunteers that he had raised in Illinois for that war. After the Black Hawk War, Mr. Davis and Mr. Lincoln began their political careers in the same year, each in his own state. That year, Mr. Lincoln was president-elector for Henry Clay, the Whig candidate, while Mr. Davis was pres a president-elector for um, Polk, the Democratic candidate. Polk won, and that brought Mr. Davis of Mississippi into po uh, political prominence. Mr. Lincoln, in his adopted state, continued to power to, to be reckoned with. Mr. Davis was elected to Congress in 1845, and Mr. Lincoln was elected a year later. Mr. Lincoln was elected President of the United States in November of 1860 and was inaugurated in March of 1861, while Mr. Davis was elected President of the Confederacy in February 1861 after six southern states had adopted ordinances of secession and was induced into office at Montgomery the same month. Both served a full term of four years, and both were re-elected for a second term, but neither filled out the second term, President Lincoln being assassinated in April after his second inauguration, while President Davis found himself without a government that same month. At various times during their lives, the two presidents wore the same kind of whiskers. Mr. Lincoln was uh, the first president of the United States to wear a full beard. Mr. Davis's last picture shows him wearing a full beard and at times both went clean-shaven, as is shown by old photographs. There are only photographs showing each of um, There are also photographs showing each of them with mustache only. Both presidents lost a son by death while occupying the Washington and Richmond mansions. And again, this was published in February, or February 18, 1920, in the American Lutheran Survey.